Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a rant because I am a little bit ticked off here. I have Snooki with me. If you guys don't know, this is my Imperial Shih Tzu. She is seven pounds in the summer, eight pounds in the winter because sometimes bitches put on weight. Anyway, she's gonna be joining me today. She is in her festive holiday attire for Thanksgiving. This rant is going to be about Starbucks. So I'm going to take you guys back to when it first happened. Starbucks came out with their cold brew um, and it was a vanilla based cold brew. By the way, this is my Starbucks mug. Um, I am I love Starbucks. I am a lover of Starbucks. Anyway, so Starbucks came out with their cold brew. I think it was in the summer. I don't even remember. It must have been in the spring or the summer because it's an ice cold drink. Now, mind you, cold brew, I guess, takes 20 hours to make. So it is a process. It is not just something where you wake up one day and Starbucks says to themselves, I think we're going to create a cold brew coffee today. Let's like wake up at six o'clock and then serve it at seven. No, this is something that needs to be created before one leaves for work that night so they can serve it in the morning. It has to be brewed for 20 hours. It's almost like a 24-hour process. So anyway, so back when the first cold brew came out, the vanilla one, I decided that I was going to order because it was brand new. So myself and my coworker, one of my friends, Judy, we decided that we were going to do it. Now, I have the mobile app, which is so convenient, by the way. And I went on the mobile app and I ordered the drink. And when you do it on the mobile app, you definitely prepay. So I prepaid, everything was set. I had a gift card, which I always keep gift cards on my account for emergencies like this. I paid for my drink. I go into Starbucks to pick it up because by the time I go and pick up my coworker, Judy, and go back into Starbucks, it should be all ready. It literally takes five minutes to pour coffee in a cup. I mean, it's not rocket science. So anyway, so I get inside and the lady at the counter says, first of all, my coffee's not there. It's been like 15 minutes, like between the time that I ordered, picked up Judy and went to Starbucks. My coffee is not there. Our coffees are nowhere near there. Prepaid, by the way. So I get up to the counter and the lady's like, are you Angela? And I'm like, yeah, I'm here to pick up my cold brew. I'm really excited. This is like our first time trying it. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. She's like, we don't have cold brew. This is something that needs to be made 20 hours in advance. Can I just give you an iced coffee? And I didn't think of it at the time, but I was just like a little bit bummed out, but I'm like, whatever. So she gives me cold coffee and I'm like, well, I need cream in it. Like she pours the coffee over ice. I'm like, I need cream, you know, and then she gives me just their regular cream that they have like everyday Starbucks cream, not the cold brew cream because there's a difference because with the cold brew cream, they take a vanilla bean is what I was told and they... They go like this and they get the vanilla off and they put it in the cold brew. Anyway, it's like a whole process. But anyway, so I'm like, sure, I guess I'll just take the regular coffee, you know, give it to me. So she did all that, gave it to me, and I went back in the van and I'm like, okay, Judy, that, you know, whatever, it didn't work out. And she's like, well, how much did you pay for the cold brew? And I'm just like, oh, they, they charged me for a cold brew, but they gave me regular coffee, which is cheaper. So I had to call the 800 number, blah, 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 blah. They gave me, you know, a credit, blah, blah, blah. And I got it like at a later date. So Starbucks came out with a brand new cold brew, a brand new one. I got an email notification late last night that this huge, huge launch was going to start today. 
November 4th. And I was just like, oh my God, Judy, I'm so excited. Let's get the cold brew tomorrow morning because it's coming out. And it's like this spiced something cold brew. I was told that it tasted like a gingerbread cold brew creamery goodness of love. So I'm like, I need it in my life. Let's try it. It's been 60 degrees here for a high in Wisconsin, and the Packers lost, by the way. They're losing, like, big time. But anyway, so I go on my phone this morning. I wake up super early because I'm like, okay, that'll give us enough time to, like, get to work and, like, just relax with our coffee, and we had a lot of stuff going on today. So woke up early, got ready, went on my mobile device, typed it in. It was it was on there on the menu, brand new today. You could get either the brand new spiced cold brew, you could get a cranberry something or other. It was like for Thanksgiving. And then you could also get a turkey and stuffing. I don't even like stuffing in my sandwiches, but a turkey and stuffing sandwich. So it was an option to get. I type it in and it says, we're sorry, this is not available in your area. Cause it like figures out my location. And I'm like, what? Like this is the big launch. Like this, like today's the day. Like today is November 4th. Today is the day, it needs to come out. It didn't come out in my area. So I'm like, okay, either number one, they're not doing their job again, and they didn't brew it the day before, which I couldn't believe. Because, like, my Starbucks people, you know, without without talking about these two incidences, are pretty good. Like, they know they know their stuff. They're they're pretty, you know, spot on. Well, or number two, they just didn't get the stuff to make it. So I didn't know what was going on and I was super pissed. So I'm just like, let me call the 800 number to Starbucks, see what's going on, you know, ask the woman, like, is there a glitch in the system? What's happening? So dialing up the 800 number, you know, the lady answers. Thank goodness she was from America and I could understand her. So I'm like explaining my situation to her. I'm telling her, like, my previous experience with the cold brew, like, for some reason, Starbucks just does not want me to have their cold brew. I don't know why. They want me to have everything else but the cold brew coffee. So I explain it to the lady, the operator. I don't know what her name is. I didn't catch it. And she's, like, pausing after every sentence I say, and, like, I'm waiting for a response from her. And she's pausing, and in the background, I hear, like, typing from a computer like she's trying to type stuff in and like she was pretty nice and she's like okay well just give me your zip code I'll like check it out so I gave her the zip code and she's like yeah I'm not seeing it at your store and I'm just like no shit dick Tracy I just told you why would I call the 800 number and go through all this stuff if you, and and you're gonna find out the exact same thing that I just told you. I'm like, I know. I'm like, I just want to know, like, what's going on? Like, this is the big launch. And I, I even asked her, I'm like, is every store supposed to get this cold brew in? Because this is like the big launch. Like, today's the day. It's November 4th. And she's like, yes, every single store is supposed to have it. So she says to me, I can email them and let them know that somebody wants the cold brew. And hopefully they'll get their shit together and figure it out. I'm like, whatever. So that was my experience with Starbucks. No, it's not like a big deal, but it's like something that makes me upset because if a company is supposed to launch anything, anything really, like let's say it's a candle, let's say it's obviously a coffee, let's say it's, you know, a, a CD or, well, people don't do CDs anymore, but let's just say it's, you know, something, anything, whatever, they should carry it in their store. If they're going to launch it, I do realize that some things happen. But just give me my coffee, please. Just give me my coffee, please. But anyway, so that is my story. 
about Starbucks and I am hoping that I will get my hands on the cold brew and everybody will be happy and we will be filled with joy and love and nature and Starbucks and I hope everybody has a great day and I will see you guys all later. Bye!